Assalamu alaikum. Peace be unto you. This video is a continuation of part one of Economics Basics with Dr. Ridgely Muhammad. Dr. Ridgely Abdul Mumin Muhammad was born in Winston-Salem, North Carolina in 1951. He received his bachelor's and master's degrees in agricultural economics from North Carolina A&T State University. He received his PhD in agricultural economics from Michigan State University. He has a minor in finance with a specialty in systems science. Dr. Ridgely is presently the Minister of Agriculture and Farm Manager of a 1600 acre farm which is based in Bromwood, Georgia. Then you gotta look at what are the bottlenecks that in production and distribution and bottlenecks. For instance, let's say if I can produce a lot of cream of wheat in, in two days, but I only got one truck and I need three trucks. Well now that truck becomes a bottleneck. So I either gotta I gotta get more trucks or I gotta slow down the production. Otherwise stuff will get built up. On the other hand, it could be I got a lot of trucks, but I don't have enough production. So now, either I'm going to get rid of some trucks, or I'm going to increase production. However, all that depends on the market, whether they're ready to buy it. Because it may be that I had to cut down on my production and my distribution because the market's not there. The market, then the market may be there, and then I got to determine... Let's just say this. That's what, this, that's what a, a business person has to do with economics. People say they want more. Cream of whole wheat. So should I increase production and distribution? Or is this just a short-term demand? That they, you know, they, yeah, they, they want it this time, but then if I go up, are they going to want it the next time? So I got it. That's why I need to know the climate, the economic climate. What is going to be in the future? Because if I buy another piece of equipment or buy another truck. Let's say I buy a truck. And I'm paying on this truck for five or six years. Well, I don't want to be out of business between one and six years. I want to be able to pay for the truck. So then I have to forecast in the future as to whether next five or six years are the people's demand for the product go pay for the services of that truck. So the business person needs economics to be able to know his cost and returns and I also need to know what the future might be for the demand of the product that he's producing. So that's how uh, business people use economics. They need to know the overall economic climate environment in which they are producing their product. They need to know in general how much people m money they're making and how much money out of that do they think that they would be able to divert to get the products that they are producing. 